Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in the Labarcatory, where, by the way, I am very proud to show off some of our latest experiments, such as Turtle, the cat experiment 85, who has turned out to be amazing. Lately, we have just had so much luck with the random genes that we have been mixing into our experiments, because now we have a Turtle, the random have an eared uh, mermaid tailed trout cat that loves to swim. Also very fuzzy, very sleepy, and loves to uh, be a bit of a prowler searching around for all sorts of things. But my friends, at times, at times it can feel as though the cats just simply refuse to be quite as random and quite as dramatic as the dogs when it comes to the experiment. But as we approach our 100th cat to welcome into the family here in the Random Genex Challenge, I really feel that they are beginning to pick up their paws and pick up the pace and really delight us. We have had Siamese green cats, we have had bat cats, uh, and I honestly think that Penny is one of the most amazingly cool cats we have ever had. I mean, just look at her. Look at her! Even without having modded ears, she has these really fancy ears that look like something right out of a mermaid uh, drawing, and she has the little mermaid tail. Penny is probably one of my all-time favorite cats that we have ever, ever really looked at. Here, Penny, do you want to show off your tail again? I just, oh, oh, see, she would definitely be the kind of cat I would have if we had mermaids in The Sims 4 for real. Uh, she would be, in fact, even if I have somebody who really loves to swim, we don't really have like a, a true, I can dive into the warm ocean and swim beach lot in Sims 4 yet. But if that ever happened, I would probably recolor Penny a little bit and say that she was a very special species of, I don't know, seal cat, because she's adorable. But that was all thanks to our lab assistant, Monster Girl 13, who really amazed us across the board with the unexpected additions that she put into their food. Be careful for additives, kids. And uh, it's time for her to retire. So we're gonna go ahead and let Monster Girl 13 retire today. We're gonna make Turtle a new mate because I am just on fire when it comes to excitement with the cats we've been having. And we're gonna give Tristan, good girl, you need to be a little bit more patient, Tristan. I promise we're going to have evolved genetics for our challenge when it comes to animals over the 100th dog and 100th cat. But I'm just so excited and we're getting so close. The gap is closing between the two different types. So let's do this. Monster Girl 13, I bid you with a deep bow adieu. Thank you so much for everything you have added into our lab, and I hope you very much enjoy your retirement package. So we're gonna let Monster Girl 13 head out, and we're gonna let Zorax, our wonderful last bat cat, head out with Penny, who is just freaking amazing. We are going to let Eveline, who's beautiful, go. We're going to let Red Robin, who has literally everything you could hope for, go. And we are going to go ahead and welcome into the lab a new lab assistant. So let's go ahead and we are going to welcome in, are you guys ready for this? <gasps> Tall Potato! Tall Potato, thank you so much for your sweet comment that you left in our last videos. It really warmed my heart to know that you love watching our adventures every day. We have literally over 7,000 of them. I'm getting pretty close to like 7,500 by now. Uh, and I hope to do this for pretty much the rest of my life. And I hope that some of you guys will enjoy the adventures through the years too. So welcome, you are our new lab assistant. I hope that you will enjoy your position. Uh, but first we need to see what you are going to look like. So we're gonna change body shape, skin tone, and voice. And then we're gonna manually change the face, the hair, and the clothing. So we're gonna randomize three times on these three things. One, two, three. Holy All right, so this is gonna be what Tall Potato's base looks like. Let's actually get Tall Potato's personality in here as well, uh, because I'm just, I love knowing a little bit more about the personality before we change all of the appearance. Uh, so let's see, we have creative, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you are a best-selling author as your aspiration, Tall Potato. I truly hope your adventures here will give you plenty to write about. And then, 
Let's see, three. So you're childish. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Childish and self-assured. Hmm, strong personality traits. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a childish, childish, self-assured perfectionist who wants to be a best-selling author. I'm really curious where, you, what, what kind of books do you think Tall Potato would write, you guys? Because. I'm thinking maybe comedy, perhaps? But comedy doesn't really go with perfectionism to me in a way, because I guess unless you're really like, have a drive to make as many people laugh as possible to become like a five-star best-selling comedian, or maybe like a memoir writer. I wonder like, how could you be childish and a perfectionist? and so self-assured that you just have the drive to get all that done. Oh, I could have so much fun with character development on that, but let's move on quickly before Siri gets lost down the path of her favorite hobby, writing out role-playing character descriptions. <clears throat> all right, let's change the hairstyle. Uh, so we're gonna change the hairstyle seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> That's so cool, called Tall Potato. You've got lots of colors going on here. That goes with the childish personality in a way. Not like dyed hair is childish, but I could just see this being like a really outgoing personality. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. And then five again. One, two, three, four, five on the eyebrows. I will save the eyes for last since eyes are windows into the soul. Uh, one, two, three, four, five again for the nose. Eight for the cheeks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's see, what else can I grab? Chin. Uh, let's see. Two, one, two. Lips. Two, one, two. And then what else? Let's see, I got head shape. Got cheeks. Jaw. Jaw's a thing. Once for the jaw. Five times on the ears. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> big ear club! That means you are allowed earrings, my friend. Only the big ear club gets earrings in the lab. Seven times on the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And now we'll do earrings. So earrings, uh, and then we're going to have to randomize. Oh yeah, this is the part where I have to just kind of close my eyes and like count, so I'm gonna be counting to five. There's a lot of fives in this list. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the nearest one? Over here. <laughs> so there we go. That actually, wow, tall potato. You look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and change your outfit. You gotta have a full body outfit, good for the lab. Uh, we've got seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Oh, that's a really cute outfit. Man, I'm getting a lot more of like a free spirit, uh, like self-assured perfectionist. I just love that mix of personality. That's pretty awesome. And then we're gonna do shoes. Hopefully they are close to choose eight, uh, 11 times, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, Ooh. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, <laughs> 11. They're straight up fishing boots. Oh, well, you are ready to clean up stuff in the lab. You know we're dealing with animals, my friend. But all right, so welcome to Tall Potato, who is going to be our lab assistant for the next three experiments, including the one we are doing today with hopefully getting a fantastic mate for Turtle. So let's see what Tall Potato's childish, childish self-assured, perfectionist personality is going to bring when it comes to creating cat experiments. This is an amazing cat, not the one we are gonna be using, but an amazing cat. So once on the breed, we're gonna be using a Siberian. Fascinating. And then we're gonna be mixing the Siberian, uh, let's see, five times, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're so cute. This is gonna be our new cat. Oh, I'm still reeling from having worked with Tall Potato for so long, but this is actually going to be Damien. So welcome to Damien. You are going to be feline experiment C-086. And let's add a little bit to your personality. Three, one, two, 
Oh, so you are fluffy, you are clever, and you are friendly, Damien. So this is what Damien looks like before we unleash Tall Potato into the experiments today. Let's go ahead and get our control kitten as usual with Turtle. Ready for this? Uh, let's see, and we are gonna use the ninth control kitten. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> Damien, I think that we may get some really cute kittens out of you, but you're about to change everything about yourself, so who knows? Uh, so ninth kitten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> oh, you precious tiny thing, you. You are so cute. Let's pull up another one of your guys' names. And then we have got <gasps> little Adriana. So Adriana, welcome. You are gonna be our control experiment here. Adriana, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to give you your personality. I think that you're friendly, a little bit of a prowler and very playful. There we go. So control kitten Adriana has been added in. Let's go ahead and change everything about Damien. Let me get some fresh numbers so that we are all set to go. Everything but head shape, by the way. So eight times on the ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the spiky ears again. All hail the awesomeness. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Damien, gotcha. Those are amazing. Seven times on the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so freaking cute. Four times on whiskers. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Nine times on the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, <gasps> Damien! Holy cats! This is gonna be so cool! Good job, Tall Potato! Good job indeed! Okay, guys, we're getting like bat cat vibes coming from Damien now. We're gonna be changing the fur pattern nine times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, kind of the, the Himalayan look here. Then eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. This is one cool cat. This is one really cool cat. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, we didn't do tail. I totally forgot tail. That's really important to remember tail. Tail is really cool. Uh, four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, <gasps> kinky tail! This is actually not, like, you might think that this is a normal tail, but it actually has a little kink at the bottom. So yes, we have two special types of tails that the kittens will definitely inherit from, which is so exciting. The fur type four times. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Here we go, guys. Are we going to get fangs, horns, beaks? Who knows? 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, I have no idea what we're actually looking at here. Let's begin by removing the clothing. We have to see what is under. Oh, this is a really wrapped up cat. Anything? Ah, okay. So we didn't get anything extra, but we do have pointy ears that are completely unmodded, just the way that Damien has been born. We have a little kinky tail and we have the beautiful, like clear blind-ish eyes. Um, I don't think the cats are actually blind. They're just like all seeing and the really cool coloring. So Damien, now that you have changed so much, we are going to see what five of Damien's kittens with Turtle are going to look like and then compare that kitten to Adriana. So let's do this. All right. So here we go. Kitten number one. Kitten number two. Three. Four. Five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my gosh, welcome to little Shannon. So welcome Shannon, you are actually going to be feline experiment C-087. Ha, there we are. Let's give Shannon her personality before we get going. 9, 10, 11, 12, she's playful. 
five, seven. She's aloof and curious. Oh, that's adorable. So playful, aloof, and curious. Let's compare Adriana to her sister, Shannon, and see how our control and our experiment mix went. So here is the beautiful Adriana. Let's go ahead, we're gonna roll to see if she inherited uh, the ears and which tail she inherited, because we're working with two extra special genes this time, based off of turtle. So we roll one, one dice to see if we inherit the ears, and then we roll the other dice to see if it's an odd number, which means she inherits the mermaid tail, or an even number, which means that she inherits the kinky tail. So let's try this out. The answer, my friends is that Adriana did not inherit the ears, but she did inherit the mermaid tail. So there you are. This would be our little control kitten. Let's see what the experiment kitten has to offer. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she already has the kinky tail, but I'm gonna roll the dice. And so she actually, unfortunately, did not inherit the rabbit ears, but she does have the mermaid tail, which I think is so cool. There is hope yet for our swimming line of cats that we seem to have created. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is really fun to have a control kitten and a, like, experiment kitten and see how similar and yet how different tweaking a few of the genes end up making the cats look when it's the same parents. Um, if, like, one parent hasn't changed at all and the other parent has changed a lot but what did you guys think who is your favorite this time around i am gonna miss those ears i'm actually more than a little upset that we're losing those ears but i'm excited to see where our experiments will take us from here so thank you very much tall potato for coming to join us i look forward to seeing what your other endeavors have to offer and we are getting even closer guys to the 100th kitten to add into this family tree and hit the evolved random genetics challenge which is going to be really fun but all right if you guys could do please leave a like to toss a treat to our wonderful cats and tristan of course and even tall potato if you're feeling generous if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly guys stay curious Bye bye